What's up guys, Josh here, doing a ch uh, quick update with you guys. As you can see, I am in the GTR. We are driving down the freeway, cruising at 130 kilometers an hour. Traffic and flow is going fast. And I actually delayed installing the turbos because I've got some hardware and stuff on order for all the new turbo studs that are gonna go off of the, uh, the head uh, to the manifolds. All new studs and all new bolts and uh, nuts and lock washers and all that. So I'm going to be replacing that hardware. I didn't have those components. And on top of that, my Sylvia is coming from Japan. It actually arrived last night and it got offloaded at Port of Tacoma today. So I'm waiting for that to get cleared for the soil test through U.S. Customs. And then I should be able to pick that up on Thursday. And I didn't want to have my RB26 all ripped down and have the turbos off with the hardware that's missing that I can't reassemble it. So I figured I'm going to get my Sylvia and uh, get that cleaned up a little bit and then start my Skyline once I have my Sylvia. So anyway, let's take a little cruise here. We'll get you back home into the garage and I can show you guys what I've been up to as far as porting these turbos. <laughs> if that means I've got maybe a oil pump issue maybe like the screws are backing out and the oil is kind of leaking past the, uh, the oil pump because the pressure really never builds well guys we are back in the garage and let's take a look at what it takes to die grind my turbos taped off and covered up and you can see that this has been ground down and this one is not. So if you put the gasket over, you can kind of see what areas basically all around the top and the side slightly. And this one is pretty good. I'd say that's pretty smooth. That should be a lot better transition going in. I'm just using these diagram tools here with my drill. Alright, so this one's all done. Holes all opened up and it's gonna match the Tome manifold a lot better. You can see this one's a lot smaller, so got it tapered in pretty smooth. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be a hell of a lot better than just hitting that brick wall. Alright, after a couple hours of grinding, I've got these all port matched and they're going to match perfectly with the exhaust manifold. And you can see the gasket here fits perfectly there and it's going to fit perfectly over there. So no more resistance, these will be ready to install now. Anyway guys, that's just a little bit of a status update today. Nothing too exciting. I'll show you guys kind of how I port match these to the exhaust manifolds. I think they turn out good. I can't wait to install them. I'm excited to make some power and some boost. And for you guys that are curious as to how I repaired my headlight, I just put a little bit of a box tape on it to hold it together. And I was considering these headlights on Right Hand Drive Japan. They're a full LED kit. Um, what are they, something 88? I can't remember exactly what they're called, but I'll put them up on the screen. Let me know if any of you guys have dealt with these or installed them. They look really nice, but they're like a thousand dollars including shipping, so it's kind of a hard pill to swallow. But if I figure if I'm going to replace the one headlight at four to six hundred dollars, might as well do an LED conversion. And originally, I was going to try to take these 
turbos in and get the exhaust housing machined and port matched in a machine shop, but I couldn't find any machine shops locally to even touch them or want to touch them. So I went ahead and did it myself. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you have not. I would appreciate it and we will see you back at the Port of Tacoma when I go down to pick up the Sylvia. See you then. Thanks for watching.